Alright, now fight number four. We're gonna go straight to heavyweight. The top two fights of this year, the two best fights. Uh Ooh. after I say this one, you'll know which one is next. But uh this was Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk, mm-hmm. the uh Ukrainian who, mm-hmm. who went up. Yeah, who also uh was undisputed at uh Cruiserweight. He uh he uh, stepped up to the plate. Yep, he uh had his he had a fight at heavyweight. He uh did his thing and because he was undisputed, you know, he got to immediately get that Anthony Joshua fight. Uh, man, that's one of the biggest upsets of this year. Yeah, yeah. It was ridiculous. Anthony Joshua is a 6'6 heavyweight, probably around 250. And uh, just like the poster boy of the, the, boss the, the look perfect like. specimen of, yeah. of a heavyweight champion. Yeah. Six foot six. And then this this Ukrainian white kid comes up in weight and just humiliates him and almost like knocked him out. Mm. Almost knocked him out. They stopped the fight early. Very upsetting. Uh how you feel about that? Um You know, I uh well, I think um, Joshua can learn from it. I don't think it was a Joshua error. I think at this point, he has to just flip his whole script on how he approaches fights. He is a very good boxer for a person his size, his weight, and stuff like that. But like you gotta, but you gotta be able to just to, you gotta be able just to run through somebody, and you gotta be able to just yeah. end it quick. And We've seen him weight. throw heavy blows and it's lay like he out. lost his dog after the uh, Andy Ruiz loss. Yeah. That yeah. was his only loss, but now he got two. And which is crazy. Like his two losses are from the most ridiculous like underdog. Way. Yeah, it's yeah. like he would have beat anybody else, but it's like these little guys. Now you think about it, he he struggled with shorter men. Well, you know. And, somebody coming up under you and Ruiz, he was yeah. weaving in and out and it's like, you know, it's it's very confusing to look down and see this little guy. He didn't expect it. Swinging up, though, like, and everything he coming at you with is, is and you swing, know what? wide, I, overhands, uppercuts, you know. I feel like he just struggled with the unexpected because it's the same thing with Usyk. Like, he probably, mm-hmm. I wouldn't say he underestimated him, but he probably just looked at it like, man, this dude coming up the heavyweight. Like, I'm about to show him what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he thought he was just what it is. pushing around, showing yeah. around. Like, or like, what do you think needs to happen? What do you think needs need, needs to change? I, I feel like, uh, well, Anthony Joshua actually is, is openly uh, making trips back and forth to America, trying Ooh. to find a, an American uh, heavyweight trainer mm-hmm. that could you know, awaken the dog in him. Because Liz Lewis found Emmanuel Stewart, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I feel like he need he needs to like hook up with, with Sugar Hill if he can, like if it makes sense. Cause mm-hmm. like what he did with Tyson Fury is crazy. Like that's just crazy. And obviously we was gonna talk about uh Fury Wilder next. But uh mm-hmm. Anthony Joshua, like nah, I feel like he's very much still into it. Uh he's still fairly young, like is as far as a, a, a boxer, he's only like 31, 32. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's still got time to learn. He's also one of those guys that uh, came into boxing like very late. Uh, with, I think he started like 19, around the same age as Wilder. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, and I would say 19 is late because when it comes to boxing, like people yeah. who really box, it's people that's been boxing since they were like they six or seven. Walk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like to jab and have the head movement and place uh, foot placement, like all of that is like drilled in you from the age of six. Yeah. It's different from becoming a, a grown man per se and then trying to learn all of these skills and fight these people who's been doing it all, all of their life. So I don't know, but I would want to say, uh, I would want to see Joshua train with like, uh, got the, Virgil what, what's Hunter the Charles? The, yeah, Virgil Hunter would be we good got, for him. Um, uh, now I feel like the, is it uh, Hunter? Um, oh, well the Charlo brothers got like two different 
uh, the bigger Charlo brother. Mm-hmm. I want I want to see him with with him because they mm-hmm. have a, a very aggressive uh, style that everybody that comes out of that you see it with them. Yeah. Or like he should probably because Joshua got the skills to he ha- he has boxing skills. Now he has to like feel comfortable and being drilled in that killer instinct. Yeah, yeah. He just gotta awaken it mm-hmm. uh, for sure. I wouldn't even mind seeing him with. Uh, Thanks with with tanks people. Yeah, I, I was I was gonna say that. Yeah. But that'd be interesting for them to deal with somebody that's so yeah large. Yeah, because just size. within the, the boxing community, they breed power punchers. Yeah. They breed like they specialize in power punchers. Yeah. And he always hints at knowing like what to do because he's like a lot of people wonder like how tank hits so hard. He's like, I know how you hit so hard. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what we work on. Mm-hmm. So you know, you might you might just have to get with somebody that can show him, you know, how to throw that two hundred and fifty yeah. pounds the right way and get out of there. Yeah. Because he he went more technical when he couldn't outbox somebody for the first time and he ended up getting knocked out. Mm-hmm. And then he got the win by becoming more technical. And since then he's just been trying to be super technical fighter, but Oh, you six six, yeah, and weigh yeah. two fifty. You gotta fight. You gotta That's get busy. You gotta and get busy. Now we're gonna go to the last fight. Uh, Fury Wilder. To, to me, that was a big upset. But uh, the trilogy. Yeah, the the second fight. Uh, there was a lot of controversy around it. Who knows? Who knows? The first fight. I feel like uh, the count was long. I personally feel like Wilder.